Hey everyone, if you're new here, my name is Jo and I'm going to be showing you how to build a blog in System.io for free because when you start with System.io, they have a free plan to get you going, which is really awesome. So make sure to grab the free trial below so you can follow along with the tutorial. And if you already have a System.io account, I've actually got some really sweet resources in the comment section below for you, so definitely check those out. Okay, so when you log into System.io, you're going to want to look for the Blogs tab. So this is where we're going to be creating our blog. Now, remember with the free plan, you can definitely create free blogs. I'm on a paid plan, so I've got like quite a lot of ones that I can create. But remember, you can make these on the free plan. Okay, so you are going to come over here to the right hand side where it says create. Now, when you click on that button, it's going to come up with this module here. You want to name your blog something that has got to do with what you're blogging about and potentially has keywords in it. And by that, I mean, like, if you are selling a digital product to coaches, you probably want to have something in there that relates to that. For this, I'm just going to call it test. Okay, so when it comes to selecting the domain name, you come over here to the right-hand side. I've got a couple of different domain names already connected, but you can just use the built-in one. Yours will probably have a bunch of different numbers in there. If you want to, you can also purchase your own domain name. Now remember, a domain name is just the address of where your blog is going to live. But you can totally use the free domain. So I'm just going to use that. Now they've got two templates that are here. These are very, very basic ones. But you once you get into them, you can actually craft them to however you like. If you want to preview them, you can just click on this button here and it's going to show you what the actual layout is going to look like. But honestly, you can create absolutely anything. So I'm just going to save this. And it's going to create my blog. So you can see that that is there. So I'm going to go into it here and you will see that it automatically loads with quite a lot of content already. What I would first do is I would actually go to this button here which says blog layout. So when you go to blog layout, this is going to be editing this like the static stuff or the stuff that's not editable everywhere. So that's going to be the top section, so it's going to be your navigation and usually your footer. So this is where you want to put things like your links to different places of your blogs, your social media, perhaps you want to put, you know, the newsletter signups, anything that you want to put, maybe your privacy policies, anything like that. Now, it's really easy to edit. All you need to do is basically like click on a section and you can come here and change the color. Like let's just choose a crazy color you can see there. And if you want to change the menu, you will see that the menu isn't set up because it's not really linking anywhere. So you can see that home just says blog link. You've got a couple of different, you can go to custom URL if you want to, or you can select the pages that are, you know, defaulted, set it in there, or the categories or the posts. I would just stick to keeping to what is kind of here, unless you want to customize that even further. Maybe you want to Instead of it saying articles, you just want it to say blog. And then you just need to make sure that you save. Now, remember, any changes or anything like that that you make, you can always go to the little I, which will preview the changes and you can see how everything works. Okay, so I'm just going to exit out of here. I don't really need to save these details because it's just you know, on that ugly purple. <laughs> but you can see here, if I go to pages, these are the pages that are already default set up in here. Now, I would probably go to the home page and start with this one first. And this is going to be, you know, your blog's home page. So you want to probably customize this to your brand, what everything looks like. So again, you can change the sections. You can change the background colors. You know, we can change to that crazy purple again. Let's just grab the actual section. And this one actually has a background image, so I'll just delete that. So you can also add background images if you wanted to. You can change the color of the text. So we could highlight this and we could make this white if we wanted to, so you could actually see it. You can drag and drop all sorts of things around. I'm quite picky and I actually like to just build everything from scratch. So I will grab like a section and I will pop it up here. And then I can drag my columns and I can place in basically anything that I want, you know, like I might want to put the image here and I might want to put some, you know, headline text over here instead. 
So you can see how easy it is to drag and drop. I would recommend if you're changing any of the like layouts or anything like that, that you do preview here and you also preview on mobile because that is going to show you what everything is going to look like on mobile and you just want to make sure that everything looks kosher. So when you edit things in mobile, it will save a mobile version and then when you edit on the desktop, it will save the layout that looks like on desktop. So that's the really cool thing about system.io. So you can go through and I'll just save that so you can see that it actually works. And I'll exit out of here and you can just update, I reckon, these pages here and because they're kind of ones that you're going to need on your blog anyway. If you wanted to add a new one, you can just create your own one by clicking this button over here. So I'm going to go to the post list page and just see what this looks like. Okay, so this is basically going to be the page. I think it's the articles page it's, linked, it's going to be linked to. So this is basically going to be showing all of your blog post listings. So you can format this however you like. You could probably put like a really nice big image up here. You don't have to keep all of this information. It is totally up to you how you want to lay things out. And you can see here that we have got, you know, the articles. It just gives you like dummy content so you can like see what it's going to look like. And if you wanted to change the layout, you can. If you don't want to change the layout, you don't have to. You can just keep going, but you've got some options of what you can choose for things to look like. So you can go through and change it like that. Of course, it looks a little bit hideous right now because everything looks the same because it's just the dummy content. And if I exit out of here, make sure you come back to your blog layout and you want to make sure that you come to that menu. And once you've finished all of that, you want to make sure that you add these in so that they are all connected. So this is going to link that to the homepage. What you would do is add in your custom URL and you would actually add in the address of your blog. So your actual website address. So whatever the domain name was for it. So that means that whenever someone clicks on home, it takes them to that home, which makes sense. So in the articles, this is where we would do it. So we would probably do the post list page there. So you could rename that to blog if you wanted to, because articles kind of sounds a little bit weird. And contact would obviously be the contact page. And about would obviously be the about page. Now, something else that's really good to note as well is this left-hand side here, sometimes with setting up this blog, it's a little bit hard to find the how to change the fonts and things like that. So it's on this left-hand side that I would suggest when you're trying to change your blog stuff because it's just because you have to go into like so many different places. So obviously there's Google fonts. We can probably change that to Open Sans. You can see there it's changed there. And if we want to come down here, let's just go to settings and see if we can... See, so we've got default typography. We want to change that to, you know, Montserrat maybe. And then that's changed it there. And let's just change the heading to Montserrat as well. And these ones are obviously manual. So we can just go to here and change that to Open Sans again. So sometimes it's on the left-hand side here. That's where I was always start with where you're changing your fonts because this does like global font changes rather than having to go through and see how I'm having to do all of these like individually, which is kind of annoying. But sometimes you have to do that. And we'll exit out of here. So you've set up your pages. You've got them all in here, the home, the posters page, the about page, the contact. Now you can get onto your categories. Now these are the categories of your blog posts. So what I would do is actually just rename these. So you can go into settings because they're already there. And you would name whatever the categories are that relate to your blog. So if you were doing that coaches, maybe you want, want to write like quotes or advice or whatever your blog is doing. So let's just do advice. And you can see that the path changes. I would also recommend filling out these as well. So description is basically just what's the description of your category? Like what is the, the advice category about? If you want to have an SEO title, now this is what google will show in the search results so this is where you want to put like your keywords or anything like that and the seo description is the same thing if you have no idea what to put for the seo my go-to is literally going to chat gpt and asking it and saying hey i've got this blog and i've got this category and i need an seo title and an seo description what would you suggest and then that's what i use <laughs> so that's just a handy little tip so you can save that and you can see that that has been successfully changed there.
So you can also add your own categories as well, but I just recommend changing the ones that you've got in there first because they're already in there and it's just really easy. So you can create and just fill out those same details again. So now it is time to actually see what the posts are and create your own posts. So I'm just going to go over to this right hand side here. And this is a post that is already like just, just dummy text and dummy posts that are in there. And let's just have a look and see what it looks like at the moment. So you can see here that it's like a fairly standard layout and I think it depends on what you want to look like. So what I would tend to do is actually delete all of these and then make a layout that I like the most, right? So let's just say I'm going to use the top places in China as my post, as my first post. So this is going to be static so that I will show you exactly where you need to do this. But for the rest of it, I would probably make sure that it is laid out how you like it. So everything that you can't click, that's going to be static, but we can change it in a minute. I'm just talking about things that are in here. So you want to have your blog basically set up like a template, this these blog post set up like a template. So every time you come in here, it's going to look consistently the same. And you just edit that the exact same way as I've been showing you with the pages. So I'm just going to save these changes. And I will exit out of here. And let's see, we are going to go to post layout. So when you do the post layout, remember how I said on the left hand side, always look for those global settings. This is probably the one instance where you don't have to do it. So this is where you actually can select it and you can change it from here. So the blog post layout is essentially your, your template of like the actual stuff that's happening around it. So not the actual content, but the stuff that's happening around it. I hope that makes sense. So you can see here that, you know, there's this giant picture of this guy, which, you know, maybe you want it smaller. Maybe you don't want it at all. You know, you're going to need to find a blog that you like and probably mimic it. But it works exactly the same. So you can, again, like if you don't want to start with a big image at the top, you don't have to. And, and even though it says don't remove these components, you actually can. So, for example, I don't like to put dates on my blog posts because that means that if I don't post for like you know, two weeks or something, then people are going to notice that I haven't posted for two weeks. And then the blog posts become kind of irrelevant. So I would delete that. And you can see it doesn't really do anything. And if I wanted to change this whole layout, I can also delete this whole thing over here. And if I wanted to make the whole section, like if I wanted to make it just a whole big one and I don't want to do it into these two, then I don't have to. I can drag this up here and you can make it like a big full width like beautiful blog if you really want to. This image is probably going to go huge but you could I mean if you want huge images you could do that and once you've done all your changes make sure that you view it and see what it looks like. This obviously isn't going to look like anything because it's just the preview but I'm going to save that and let's go into one of the blog posts with the content and see what it actually looks like. So we'll come down here and let's just go to the top places in China because that was the post. So you can see I don't have that horror, that sidebar. I don't really like the sidebars, but I didn't fix that. But you can see that the image is nice and big. Like the blog would probably go full width and it looks really, really nice. So it's up to you what you want it to look like. There's quite a lot of customization that you can do. Now, what I would say is that with these blog posts, once you've gotten the first one sorted, I would just delete all of these because you don't actually need these to, you know, actually be in your blog post when you're going live. And for adding the categories, you go into settings and this is where you can make sure that the titles are right, make sure you've got a good description, make sure that your URL path is right. Like if it's got weird like numbers in it and stuff, don't have those. And again, you don't want the blog post date to be displayed. And then this is where you can select your categories. And if we go to view blog now, we should be able to see some of the changes that we've done. And you can see this is just all the dummy content that's in there. And the top places in China, that's the one that we were like messing around with. And you can see that I deleted that first image. So that image is not there anymore. So. It's really super simple to set up. It's like, it actually blows my mind that all of this is free. 
And basically, once you're ready to go like with like publish every, well, it's basically already published anyway when you do all these changes, because you can see here, if your blog post is green, it means it's published. But once you basically have a look at it like this and you're like, yeah, I'm happy with everything and you've got it all how you like, all you need to do to share and promote your blog is grab a link. So you can grab a link to your posts and you are totally ready to promote. If you enjoyed my content today, please make sure to like and subscribe. Leave any questions in the comments. I try to answer every single one of them. And make sure to check out this video because I think it's going to help you level up even further.